All right guys, in this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about a reel that I've owned for over 150 days now, and I've truly put it to the test on the water, and it's time to do an honest review. I'm not sponsored, so it is completely my opinion, and I wanted to do this video for you guys so you guys can know if it's worth your money and your time to invest in one of these fishing reels. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right guys, so if you don't know who I am, my name is Andreas, I make fishing content here on YouTube, and usually you'll see my videos, I'm out on the water, you know, having a good time in shore and catching fish for you guys, and so today's a little bit different. The weather's been a little ugly, it hasn't really been cooperating with my schedule, so I still wanted to post a video for you guys and talk to you about something that is super important, your tackle. So before we get into the nitty gritty about this real review, I want to tell you guys a little something about Van Stahl, just in case you guys aren't familiar with the brand itself. Van Stahl is known for making super, super, super indestructible reels. You can drop these, you can fully submerge them in salt water, you can even reel these underwater and they will be completely okay. It's a 100% sealed fishing reel, which I mean, a lot of companies claim to be sealed and you know, be saltwater proof and all this stuff and they still end up locking up on you and you know, and eventually getting destroyed. But Van Stahl, their brand is basically built off of making these reels that I believe were built for striper fishermen and um, surf fishermen that did pretty extreme fishing from like jetties in the beach. These are super good at keeping harmful things out of your reel like salt, um, you know, water, sand, dirt, dust, that kind of stuff. So they do end up lasting a very long time compared to reels that aren't sealed especially if you're doing a lot of saltwater fishing. So now that you guys know a little bit about Van Stahl and what they're all about, I wanna tell you guys some specs about this reel right here. This is actually the VR50, which is their brand new kind of smaller size reel because everyone was complaining that they don't have any small reels. Basically, this reel right here has 25 pounds of drag, which is more than enough for almost anything you're gonna do inshore and sometimes even offshore and it holds an insane 360 yards of 20 pound braid. I mean guys, that's ridiculous. The size of this reel, it's kind of hard to tell from this video, but it's like in between a 3000 and a 4000 size pen reel and it holds that much line. So definitely it's gonna be awesome for, you know, big game fish like tarpon and you know, really big snook. You don't honestly need that much line, but it's just great to have. So now that you guys know some specs about the reel itself and what the company is all about, I want to get into the pros and cons about this reel. So I think we should go ahead and just start with the cons. So there isn't many things that are bad with this reel. It's a super great reel, but there are some things that do bother me and they stick out and I feel like you should know before you buy a band stall. At least with this model, I haven't found somewhere to store the line if it's on your rod and you've cut off your lure that you're using, they don't have like a little hook to put your spare line on. I, at least I haven't found one. So that's just one thing that kind of annoys me, but it's not a super big deal. It's not a deal breaker or anything, but you know, it's something nice to have. The second con about this reel is going to have to be the price tag. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. It has to be like, $510 for their smallest size VR50. So these can range anywhere from $500 all the way up to, I believe, I think it's 1200 bucks. I mean, I might be wrong there, but it, it's really, really expensive, you know? And a lot of people, definitely this reel is not necessary for them, but that's just one of the other cons that I've noticed, it is very expensive. So you should stick around until the end of the video. I'll tell you guys if it was worth it. Yeah, that's it for the cons. I mean, the price, and I don't see somewhere to put the, the line if you don't have it tied up to a lure on your rod. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, let's go ahead and go right into the pros of this reel. To start off with number one, it's beautiful. I mean, it's truly a well-designed reel. You can tell they've really put some quality materials into making this thing. It looks amazing. I mean, they've got their logo on it, that VS, and it's just, it's such a well put together reel. So 
The second thing that I'm gonna have to say is a pro on this reel, at least in my opinion, is the power handle that comes with them. Don't know if you guys can see that, there you go. So this is actually around like a 3500 size reel for all the other manufacturers, and I mean, it's just, it's so nice to have like that control on those bigger fish, you know, tarpon, big snook, big redfish, um, anything that's really gonna give a lot of pull, it, just make sure your hand doesn't slip off even if you're in wet conditions and it's raining or say you're surf fishing or something like that. So the third thing that I'm gonna have to say is a pro about this reel is the insane line capacity. So this model holds about 360 yards of 20 pound braid, which I believe I mentioned when I was talking about the specs of these of this reel. But I mean, guys, that's awesome. I mean, sometimes you're like, oh no, like you hook into something huge and you're like, I'm gonna get spooled. Well, I seriously doubt there's something out there in the inshore scene that's gonna spool you if you have one of these tied up with 20 pound braid. So the fourth pro about the Vanstall VR50, I'm gonna have to say, is going to be how smooth it is. Most 100% sealed reels tend to be less smooth. If you've ever held like a Stratic, for example, or another really nice Shimano reel, you guys know how quality they are and how smooth they feel when you're rolling, when you're reeling things in. I mean, it feels like butter. So these reels are actually very smooth for their size. I mean, it's insane. See that, like it just, it keeps going. And I mean, for a reel of this caliber, it's perfect. I have zero complaints about how smooth it is. And since it's 100% salt waterproof, it's never gonna change theoretically because you send it in twice a year and they service your reel. And it also, I mean, if it's salt waterproof, even if it gets dunked or splashed or dropped in the sand, it shouldn't change its smoothness because no water is gonna enter into your reel and destroy its internals. Aside from the actual reel itself being so smooth, the drag is also super, super nice, as expected from a $500 reel. So, as you guys noticed, it's not sticky at all. You can put it all the way down if you wanna fish super light, or you can lock it down all the way up to that, I think it's 28 pounds of drag or 25 pounds of drag, somewhere between there. And I mean, it's, it's truly amazing. I, I can't get over how nice this reel is. Okay, so those are pretty much all the pros and cons about the VR50 van stall, and most of them are pretty similar to this reel. I mean, super well put together. It doesn't have anywhere to put your line, but that's not a big deal. It doesn't really make or break the reel. So now you guys know pretty much all the pros and cons of the Vanstall VR50, and how can you decide if this reel is for you? So let's go ahead and talk about that. So in my opinion, I think this reel is absolutely outstanding and worth the money if you're one of the following. One, a surf fisherman or somebody who fishes near a lot of sand and your, your rod and reel setup is, you know, close to the elements, you know, the salt water and the beach. And so it's really able to take a beating and not have any damage done to it. And it's just, you know, you don't have to worry about dunking your reel on accident or, you know, dropping it in the sand or anything like that. The second group of people I would have to say that this reel could be really worth the money for is people who are kayak fishing or wade fishing. And that's because a lot of times it's really easy for you to accidentally dunk one of your reels when you're doing one of those things. Or maybe if your kayak flips and all your gear falls in, you'd hate for your setups to be destroyed just because of an accident and a simple mistake. Honestly, I do think that it's worth the money for those groups of people. And another group of people that I think could benefit from buying one of these reels would be hardcore offshore fishermen and inshore fishermen. If you're out there fishing three to four times a week and you know, your reel's getting splashed constantly or after a day of fishing, it's just sitting there like this and this braid soaks up water and then after it starts drying and going down, it can really get into the internals of your fishing reel, which it's not gonna do that much damage, but over time you will start to see the wear of that kind of thing on a normal fishing reel. But since this is salt waterproof, nothing happens. So I do think that it is a good bang for your buck. I mean, it's expensive and it's absurd that it's $500, but I haven't had to buy a replacement reel since. 
and I was getting super frustrated when I used to be a kayak fisherman with my gear becoming dumped and you know being ruined basically after even one trip. I ended up getting one of these and I'm super happy with the purchase and I honestly I would buy another one again if I had the money. I don't think I would go above this size because I mainly do inshore fishing. Um, occasionally I do wade fish and fish from the surf so this is still plenty big for me. But yeah, um, the reel overall, I give it an 8.59 out of 10. I think it's fantastic. Um, Van Stahl, you guys did a great job with these. Super, super happy with it so far. I'm gonna do a follow-up review once I have it for a year, tell you guys if anything's changed. Um, my opinions again, if I've noticed any other pros and cons of the reel. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out all the other awesome content that I have on my channel. If you guys want to help support the channel and you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that this video is a good one and that other people should see it. And if you guys like what I'm doing here on my channel, don't forget to subscribe. So as always, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And I can't wait to catch you guys on the next one.